Welcome to the road to 1 million US dollars. Let's get right into the Bitcoin chart for today. As you can see, over the last couple of weeks, we have just been consolidating in this descending parallel channel where recently we had a scary move to the downside. However, right now we are bouncing back and are trading back inside the range again. And taking a look at the RSI momentum indicator, you can see that since yesterday, we actually had a bullish confirmation signal where we broke this descending line of resistance that we have been facing for a couple of weeks, actually since the very top at 73K. So like I said in yesterday's video, this is actually a bullish signal that could signify that we are ready to trade back to the top side of the range, which is roughly at 71,000 US dollars. And there's actually more bullish news today because on the MACD indicator on the daily time frame, you can see that recently we had a lot of bearish momentum. And right now, if we just hold somewhat close to this price level that we are trading at right now, we will actually get the first green candle on the MACD indicator ever since we reached the top at about 73,000 US dollars. So again, just like the RSI momentum indicator, in the case that we do confirm a green candle close right here on the daily time frame, potentially it could be a signal that the trend is reversing and we might see some more bullish momentum soon. So now taking a look at the short term support and resistance levels for Bitcoin on the four hour time frame, you can see that we just broke above this descending line of resistance. And in the case that we do start trading higher from here, the next big level of resistance is from about 65K all the way up to 66,000 US dollars for the Bitcoin price. However, in the case that we do get some kind of rejection, well, the next big level of support below the current price is from about 62.4K all the way down to 60,000 US dollars. And another thing to note is that since we have now broken above this previous line of resistance, it has now been flipped into support. So in the case that you do see that price move lower, potentially you could look for a bounce from of that trend line. Though one thing to note in the short term here on the four hour time frame, like I said, on the RSI momentum indicator, you can see that we are getting kind of close to reaching overbought territories, which is whenever the RSI reaches a level above 70. And usually what you'll see when the RSI reaches overbought territories is that there is limited room to the upside, meaning that the price needs to do a little bit of consolidating or potentially even get some bearish momentum in order to reset that RSI back to around the 50 level before then potentially getting a next leg to the upside. And zooming in even further on the one hour time frame, you can already see this play out a little bit because right here yesterday we reached into overbought territories. And when the RSI did reach overbought territory, there was limited room to the upside and the price needed to do some consolidating in order to reset the RSI back to around that 50 level. So in the short term, you can see it reset and now it's moving back to the upside, getting kind of close to that overbought territory again on the one hour time frame. So potentially if you see the price going a little bit higher, especially reaching this level of resistance while also being in overbought territory, well then likely in the short term, the price might get a bit of a rejection or need to do some consolidating. Now moving on to the Bitcoin liquidation heat maps on the one week time frame, you can see that recently we had a fast move to the upside, taking out all of this liquidity right here. And right now in the short term, there is also a lot more liquidity at about 64.8K. And the reason this is significant and important for us to analyze is because typically the Bitcoin price gets attracted to where there is most liquidity on this chart. So where there are the most yellow areas on this chart. And like I said, most of the liquidity is to the upside right now. However, you can also see that there is some short term liquidity to the downside all the way as low as about 57,000 US dollars. So that is definitely something you must keep in mind in the short term that we do have a lot of liquidity here and that it is a good idea to pay attention to the short term support and resistance levels, because in the case that you do see that pullback start to happen, you need to know when we actually lose these levels of support. Now, if you are interested in learning more about how to trade crypto, I recommend you check out my free trading course and you get access to all of the videos by simply clicking on this join for free button. And by doing that, you will get access to all the videos that I have posted in the free trading course so far, as well as all the other videos that I will be adding in the future very soon. And in fact, I actually just uploaded a new video about 40 minutes ago that I highly recommend you go check out. So like I said, you can join this course for free with the second link in the description of the video that you're watching right now. 
Moving on to Ethereum on the daily time frame, you can see that recently we got rejected from the 0.786 Fibonacci level, after which we traded to the downside and then also lost support at the 0.618 Fibonacci level. And after trading all the way to the downside to the 0.5 Fibonacci level, we have now found some short-term support there and are just ranging in between the 0.5 and the 0.618 Fibonacci level. And you can also notice this by the RSI on the daily time frame being at around this 50 level, which is whenever the price is just showing some neutral price action. So zooming in on the four hour time frame, you can see that recently we had this ascending triangle pattern, which did break out to the upside. And like I said at the time, this confirmed a price target of around 3180 for the price of Ethereum. So looking at the price action today, you can see that we already got pretty close to reaching that price target multiple times. And this was actually a very nice 5% move to the upside. So if you took that trade anywhere close to the point of the breakout, this could have been a very nice leverage trade for you. So if you are interested in getting these calls and real-time updates on what I think is happening in the market, I recommend you join my free crypto community with the first link in the description of the video that you're watching right now. So besides this trading pattern being pretty much completed here, one thing you'll also notice is that we are now trading inside this big level of resistance, which is sitting from about 3150 all the way up to 3250. And in the case that we do get a rejection from this level, well, we might get a little bit of short-term support for ETH at about $3,070. However, if we do get a larger pullback, I think it is likely that we go below that and fall into this next big level of support, which is sitting from about $3,000 all the way down to $2,850 for the price of ETH. Now moving on to Solana on the weekly time frame, just like Ethereum, we got rejected from the 0.786 Fibonacci level, after which we traded all the way back to the 0.5 Fibonacci level, even below it, but in the end did manage to hold support there and are now trading potentially back to the upside. So let's take a look at some short term support and resistance levels for Solana so we get a better understanding of what we can expect in the short term for Sol. Zooming in on the four hour time frame right here, you can see that currently we are in a big level of resistance, which is sitting from about $140 all the way up to $150 for the price of Solana. However, in the case that we do break above that level, we might get a little bit of short-term resistance at about $160, but then the next big level of resistance above it is from about 166, all the way up to $171 for the price of Solana. So potentially we can see some fireworks for Solana pretty soon. However, one thing we must take into account when saying all of this is actually the RSI momentum indicator which is getting kind of close to reaching that overbought territory, just like Bitcoin. And also just like Bitcoin, in the case that it does reach that overbought territory, so an RSI level above 70, well, in that case, there is simply limited room to the upside. And first, the price needs to consolidate or potentially get some bearish price action in the short term in order to reset the RSI to around the 50 level before potentially getting another leg to the upside. So what can we expect in terms of support levels in the case that we do get a pullback here? Well, first of all, if we do manage to break above this current level of resistance before the RSI reaches overbought territories, well, then it would actually flip this previous level of resistance into a level of support. So in that case, potentially you could see a bounce from that level. However, in the case that we do get a rejection before actually clearing above this level of resistance, well, then the next big level of support is actually all the way down here from about $133 all the way down to $125 for Solana. Now, if you want to stay up to date with the most important analysis for Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Solana, I recommend you subscribe to my channel with notifications on so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. This has been today's market update video. Thank you very much for watching once again, and I will see you tomorrow in the next one.